Hi everyone, I'm Chen, and yes, that's me in the short film. This is the fourth week of the journey connecting leadership with improvisation, and we are starting to dig deep into the past leadership experience. And for me, it's about creating this short film. This is for a challenge, and the task is, challenge, is very challenging. We are given six lines, and we are supposed to create a short film in a very limited period of time. And I became the leader not only because I have an idea of what we are going to do, but also I believe that it can be done. There are people in the team who are more professional than me, and they realize how difficult it, it can be. To start with, we only have a limited time, less than a week. A lot of us are freelancers and only have a few days available. For me, at this time, I was working for Sleep No More in Shanghai. I have to be there like three days in a full time. But rather than regarding these difficulties as the obstacles, I think I see them as the checklist to complete. This is how I communicate with my teammate, like uh, my teammate would say, in order to do that, we need to find a location, we need to find an actor, we need to do this, and we need to do that. And my response is, yes, that, uh, these are the facts, we do need that, but it, it doesn't mean that we, uh, there's nothing can be done. Like, although we don't have a location, we can just find one, we can just rent the ma machine. So with my teammate, we are able to face the facts and to, and to prioritize what, what has to be done. As you can see, not everything turns out perfectly. For example, I have to step in myself to be the actor. But at, at least at the end of the day, we managed to produce a film. In, in a way, I was lucky because I was working with the talented people. For example, we have a composer who just came up with the original music in a couple of days. But, but I think the most important thing in this leadership journey is to be able to face the facts and stay on course. I know I want to make this film and I will do whatever it takes to do it. And of course we need to do A, B, C, and D. And I, I, I would just say like uh, do try my best to do everything and say how far I go. I, I was even prepared that maybe at some point we couldn't do that and we have to stop. But luckily, uh, we, go, we, we are able to go very far to the end. Even though we didn't really win the competition, I think this is a great experience and I may end up with one of the proudest work I have been created. Also, looking back on this experience, I think my, my leadership style is always to, be, uh, to believe like things can happen and then stay on course to do it. And it's not which we're think, uh, thinking because uh, like for me, uh, start as a, like an editor with digital media, you, you have to work with the things you have. You have to do something with the footage. What's more important than the footage is, uh, I think, the purpose we have to create this film. Even though sometimes you have to maybe shoot some footage yourself, etc. In, in short, my leadership always starts with an idea and or a thought. And then I always try my best to stay on course and face all the facts to make it happen. I don't regard my style to be perfect because I realize um, in, in, in this experience and in many before that I'm, I mainly focus on getting things done. So although I managed to go very far, like I become more and more lonely. Perhaps the things I should learn more is to embrace changes, even, uh, even though it means the change of the ideas. Because as we explore in class, like uh, when we say the thing change and we have to think of something else, always that will become more creative. And I guess this way will involve others more. So here is my thought so far and thank you.